Hello everyone, I'm in Canada today and I'm checking out the biggest second-hand thrift store called Value Village. They have them all over the country and we're gonna go in and see what designer bargains we can hunt in just general antiques. So let's go inside and see what we find. Now it is absolutely huge, much bigger than anything compared to in the UK. You even have trolleys. Whoa. We will hand sanitize our hands. And inside we have these really big trolleys. And what they do inside is they have a lot of seasonal stuff as well. So as you can see right there, you have a lot of things for Halloween. So you're going to throw these costumes away anyway, but this is what you can find. But look around just how big it is. And you have shoes, clothes, boots, and so, 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 so much. And we're going to see what we can find. Okay, the first section we'll go to is the coats. And the coats are right over here. Come on, let's see what we can find. Um, everything is sorted by size in small, medium, and large. Okay, now I'm not on the lookout for anything too, too, too specific, but we'll just see what we... Mm -hmm. Let's see about prices. So this is, for example, a puffer jacket, and this jacket is $25. So you have to add taxes, and taxes in the state of Ontario are about 13%. So let's see what we can find. So of course you do have some things which are a bit more expensive. So this brand, I don't really know. It's called um, Firely and it is $50, but it's absolutely brand new. Well, it looks like it's only been used a couple of times and it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, really nice coat. So here you have a really nice Calvin Klein piece and it's only $25. So you can find yourself some really nice pieces. And let's see what else. They're bringing out a lot more ski jackets as well and ski clothing can be really expensive, so you can find a lot of really nice things here. And let's see what else, shoes at the top. We're gonna to get to the shoe section, which is much bigger than what you see at the top there. You kind of have to be really quick in these places because I always feel like somebody else is gonna grab it before you. It's such a like, you're literally searching. Now, one thing that I really love is Lululemon, and it's very expensive in England, and it's, of course, it's also very expensive in Canada as well. So let's go and see what Lululemon we can find. This is a guest leather jacket and it's $50. So of course it's not like super, super cheap, like $5, but it is possible to find this stuff. Look, so this is an English brand, which is quite expensive, Aqua Custom, and you get this for $34. So always try and add about 30% of that value onto the price for the taxes, but it's still really, really reasonable. Oopsie, oopsie. Get that hang okay. And look, they already have a big Christmas jumper section out, so they get into it really quick early over here, as anywhere else. Hello! <laughs> oh, okay, let's keep on looking, come on. So you have a big gym session, active wear. So you have active wear shorts and tops and leggings and tops. So I'm gonna see if I can find myself any nice shorts. These are for example Nike. And they are brand new Nike shorts and you get them for $20. So that's pretty cool. But I don't want Nike. Okay. I always look in the size medium as well because sometimes people can misplace them or just don't really know the sizing so well. So I always go for the next size as well to have a look. Oh, oh look, we've got um, Lululemon shorts right over here and they are 17. I'm going to put them inside in case my aunt wants them or my mom. <laughs> I'm going to send them a picture of it. Do you want these shorts? They're so nice. Let's see what else they have. Let's look at the tops now. Okay, so see you've got a Lululemon top right there. And just like that at the front. So a lot of the clothing is actually in really good condition. 
Um, you still got a little bit of few like bobs on it, but let's see the price. So twenty dollars. So we are making it a bit more expensive than last time that I was here for the lemon clothing, but it's still pretty reasonable, I think, considering how much you pay in the store. Look, this one's pretty nice. This is like that. Actually, you can see it's got a bit of a bobs there, so I'm not going to get it, but this one's literally lemon for $20. But we're not going to get that one. Okay, let's keep on going, keep on going. I was trying to be really quick because today I plan to do about three more of these shops. Um, but look, for example, you can find a nice Nike bra like that. And that is $14. But I prefer Lululemon. I don't know, I'm just a big Lululemon fan. <laughs> oh, let's see let's No, you've got Athletica as well here, and that's eight forty nine. Look, they even have swimsuits right there. We've got hats there too, lots of hats, and now we're gonna go and look at all the leggings. Okay, so this is the size medium. Really helpful. You've got these. Look how big it is. It's just absolutely huge. So we are. Oh, sometimes you feel like you can spot something. Okay, let's go. We're starting with right over here. Let's go for the leggings. Unless it's like some really nice designer brand that just pulls out. Okay. So this is everything that I'm looking for here. This is just literally the size small. So this is just how much stuff you have here. It's absolutely huge. So this is, for example, Athletica, which is $17 right there, and they're in excellent condition. We've got Nike over here, again, in really good condition. So over here I found some um, Adidas Stella McCartney leggings, which are absolutely really nice, and the colour is absolutely nice on them, and they are in excellent condition, and they are $14.5, so we're going to definitely put those inside, and I'm still in the small section, so let's keep on going, okay? Oh look! We have some of these, just found these, below Lululemon leggings, 25. And they're really nice, look at all this kind of materials on them right there. So we're definitely putting those inside, let's keep on going. Okay. Let's see what else we can find, sorry, I'm just going to put these past. Now we're looking at the blazers, and let's see what blazers we can find. And we'll start off with a size small. Let's see. What I like to do is look at these rails, so these rails are when they're just about to be putting out the clothes. So you kind of get, you get your first pick to see what's here. So whenever I see this rail going through the store, I always go and have a look what they have on it. And then it's like, oh, okay, let's see what they have, what they're about to put out. Okay, nothing on that rail, but I have sometimes found some really nice pieces. And you get your first pick off them. This is pretty. I don't know where it's from. Okay, it's all cut out. I hate it when labels are cut out because then you don't know where it's from. Hmm. Okay, let's keep on looking. Okay, a bit boring over there. And now we are looking at dresses. Finally got to the dresses. Now, I've never really been that successful in finding anything really nice in the dress section, but let's see what we can find. Okay. There are lots of things, for example, that are absolutely brand new. For example, you have this dress and it's absolutely brand new. And it is on for $23, so it is, of course, possible finding things that are absolutely brand new here, which is awesome. You do kind of actually find some items like Tahari, this is a linen dress, yes, but sometimes you get like the belt missing. So for example, the belt is missing on that dress. So you even have wedding dresses here under formal wear. Um, and they're again size coordinated as well. So let's say how much is a wedding dress. So actually some of them are quite nice, I would say. So let's see how much is this dress. $400, I'm not sure if that's even the right tag on them. Or if it's not the store tag. But let's say for example this dress, which is actually really pretty, I would say. Yeah, it is pretty. Um, let's see how much this dress is. Oh, look, wow, it's $140. You can get married every week. This is so cool. No, no, little one, don't take them off. Don't take them off, because mommy's not getting married just yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And look, you have even more wedding dresses right over here. Uh, so we're kind of on that side, you've got a lot of like paints, boots, boots, women's bath bed. We've got the clothes in the middle. So now this is the men's section. And then over there we have the toys, um, the kids section, furniture, shoes and jewellery and bags. So we're going to go into that section soon. Let's see what else they have over here. 
well, summer dresses, so they've still kept like a little shelf out for summer dresses. Okay. Oh yes, because they look like princessy dresses. Okay, so we even have some young stuff like Brandy Melville right there. Let's see, Wilford, Rachel Zoe, they have that there. Oh, I love summer. Okay, let's see what else they have. So of course you're not exactly going to find, you know, designer after designer. You occasionally find the designer piece. Um, but again, not top, top, and designer. That's very rare to find. Okay, we've got lots of ties and everything. I'm going to go and look at the men's suits. Because sometimes you can find some really nice designer men's suits. So let's see what we can find. Handmade in Italy. Wow, that's nice. Mabro. Never heard of Mabro. Handmade in Canada. Okay. Oh yes, we actually do need to buy a suitcase because I bought so many things. This is not my summer holiday in Canada for a week. And this is not my first trip off um, to Value Village. So I do have quite a lot of bags at home which I bought of stuff. So I'm going to definitely have to find a suitcase. Wow, look so... What is this? This is like the blue giraffe. But this is like a big wooden cabinet. This is so cool. And this is literally only $30. That's awesome. We've got chairs, everything. Even a wheelchair. That's cool. Boxes. Is it about absolutely everything electronics? You can find here. Yeah. That's a one. Oh, and here are the suitcases. And I need a suitcase. If I don't find a good one here, I'm gonna go to another one to buy a suitcase. I need to check in the suitcase. And actually all of these are pretty small for me. And the kids section, and you have kids clothing here as well. We do have quite a lot. There was actually this Barbie dream house which I really loved here. It's so cool and it was literally like, this dream house is literally only five dollars. It's so cool. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, lots of kids toys. Yay! <laughs> and of course, much better prices than you would pay in the shop for all these toys. So this is literally just the kids section of the kids. This is just the kids section. So these are all the men's shoes. Huge rows of shoes. Lots of men's coats. Okay. Women's shoes. Okay, look at that. Sam Odenda. From a tree. 649, not bad. And then we have, then we have the boot section right over here. Lots of boots. And actually, one pair of boots that I would really like is Stuart Weinstein's. So let's see if they have them here. Look, this is Michael Kors. They're quite a small size though. And they are. I think they're about $20. Aldo. Okay, these are Gabor, actually. These were like $140, as you can see the price is still on. And then here, the price has been taken off, but it's yeah, in really good condition. Let's look at bags. So what they also do with these toys is that they put them in little bags like that, which is pretty cool. And sometimes you can find like the little lol dolls or something, like, you know, those really small toys that tend to be really expensive. So yeah, you can sometimes find them and you're like, yeah, you have so many toys, okay, you don't need to buy them from the shop anymore. So cool. There are so many bags. It's ten pay figure. How much is a ten pay figure? Ten forty nine. And let's see what else we have. This is really pretty bag. It's coach. And then another section that I really like over here is this is kind of an expensive valuable section. So you can sometimes find some interesting stuff in there or like rare kind of antique stuff in there. Um look and see what they have in there. So they have like Calvin Klein baguettes, protein, awesome bow gallery, sunglasses. Let's see what they have perfumes in there. Um and they put Jordans in there for kids. Yeah, they're expensive. And then that's all these like really cool antique stuff. And then they're so cool. Like some old cameras and figurines. These are like the little bubble heads that are so so popular. Mm, look you've got like Star Wars, episode one collectible stuff, cameras, knives are behind for safety of course, and um, collectible magazines, books as well right there. And yeah, they're like $15 again, so again, they're not too, too much. Let's see what else they have. Oh, and then of course they have the jewelry here. But of course, I don't really know their kind of checking process for jewelry. I'm sure it's not like too, too strong. 
the vetting process to see what's good um, like to authenticate some of this jewelry well we have some really expensive stuff there so you can see like two and a half thousand three thousand thousand like there are some pieces which are quite expensive so we must have had somebody have a look at those just to confirm that they are gold and then you have lots of belts over here as well gloves there's just so much of so much of everything you can literally just like almost buy anything from here which is awesome so you also sell fur as well i noticed um 100% genuine fur this hat for example um foxy fur originals from montreal so let's see how much this fur hat is going to cost 20 dollars and then you just add the taxes on top so yeah you can get yourself a fur hat here as well if you want oh by the way have you subscribed please subscribe if you haven't already done so and also smash that like button it's absolutely free smash it like you're gonna get yourself the best bargain ever in one of these places that really helps me out please oh my god look at this cool ball waiter ball it's a bag that's such a cool bag it's like something like i don't know like lose your tongue or something so cool really like that bag okay let's see look how many toys we have since we were last in here so how are we going to take this back to england Look, we have a dog right here. Do you really need this dog? No, I'm not gonna put it in the dog. No, look, I genuinely don't think you need a dog. Okay, so when you have a real life dog, I don't think you need a dog. Now, what is this? Look how huge this is. We really don't need this. Okay, I don't think we need this. This is too big. This is not gonna fit in the suitcase. This is too big, okay? We're not taking a house for this. Okay, so you can leave the house. What else do you have in there? What? I, I, I don't want the dog. Okay, you really don't need that. You need like a little dolly in there. Okay, you really don't need that. You can have Kristoff, but look, this dog is quite dirty. I don't want the dog. No, you can't have the dog. No. The answer is no. So over here, you have the big kind of DVD section. You have lots of toys from here. And kind of even really old magazines. Like, look, this is Hitchhawk from, I don't know, what issue, what year is that? But really old stuff. Categories. So as if you're in the library, parenting and everything, it's so huge look how many books you have right over here. This is so cool. Look at this cooler. Absolutely love it. So cool. We've got these machines which are awesome. And most of the things are really in excellent condition. Lots of all of this houseware stuff here. That's... Lots of vases. This is a really pretty vase. We've got little kind of bags again here with like literally even down to the coin lines and everything and um, envelopes you can even find envelopes and then else and um, kitchen supplies as well and some of them are really brand new like those right there you can see absolutely brand new so it's not necessarily that things are like really old or horrible and um, clocks literally just a section for clocks right there little one this one lots of stew pillows and literally like absolutely everything nothing's going to waste which is good um, wooden decor right over here. Wow, this is so nicely carved out. Look at that. So nicely done, the journey $25. So, if, yeah, you can really find some really awesome things here. Lots of picture frames too. This is a nice picture frame. Oh, so solid. Wow, okay, lots of picture frames. Um, glassware and plates in there. And then for here we've got kind of kitchen supplies, more glassware. Let's see what else we have. We've already got Christmas stuff out like that. There. We've got electrical goods here as well, so we can find like a coffee machine. Let's see if I know any brands over here. And oh look, do Langoni, that's quite another one though. And then yeah. Look, that's cool. Kitchen aid, we can find that there. And which is it? $13. Don't know what it does though. It's like coffee something. Oh, hair stuff. Actually, I was recommended one of these lately. Apparently, they're quite good. How much is it? $13. There you go. You can find that one. This is their um, stock room through there. Um, we've got maternity clothing right over here that you can find as well. So there's literally something for absolutely everybody, which is really good. And then, yeah, here we are. Ooh. And there comes my aunt. Let's see what else she has found. Let's see what they found. Like lots of Victoria's Secret bras in here. It's actually quite cool because lately I went into Victoria's Secret and I thought, oh my god, that's so expensive. But look, you can find stuff literally with their tags on. Can you see the tag on Victoria's Secret? So this bra was $54. And in here, they priced it at $11.49. I might actually get it. 
There we go. It brought out ahead to anybody. See, so you can find yourself really like brand new stuff. Okay. Yeah, so that, for example, as you saw, had its tags on. What did you find? Let's see. So this is what my Canadian aunt found. Well, these are nice. Mm -hmm. Do you know this brand? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay. Yeah. American brand. Yeah, see, look, Victoria's Secret brand new slippers. That's a good price. And you can see by their soles, they are brand new. And then we have some boots over here. I don't know this brand. Franco something. They feel leather. And what about the bag? Lily and Ivy. I don't know, it's not leather. It feels plastic and horrible. So we're going to leave that. Okay. And then we have this whole stuff to show. So we are now at the counter and I found some really nice things over here. Mostly sports things. And I'll show you what we buy once we get out. But you have real big lots of counters everywhere. Got a proper trolley system there. All really nice. And um, also if you're returning something, you can return it within 14 days if it doesn't fit. Because inside here you don't have fit in rooms. And of course you need to keep your tags on like anywhere else. So I have purchased a big bag in Valley Village. You get these kind of brown bags, which are real American. I spent $137, including taxes. Now, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. And we're gonna go to the car now, and I'm gonna show you exactly everything that I have purchased. In total, we spent about one hour in the shop. I did spend a little bit longer because I was filming, so I was trying to get some good footage for you. And, no, I'm so excited. I just love a good bargain. And you know, it's actually sometimes so difficult trying to go to the shop now, because once you see the prices at a good bargain, then you really don't want to be spending that much money when you are in the real shops. So I'm going to show you what I have bought. And let's see, I love these charity shops. You know, the charity shops in London where I live are actually really good. You do end up finding more higher end designer brands but these are really, really good as well. So let's show you what I've got. So I'm gonna show you exactly everything which I have bought. So I bought this Lulu Lemon bra, which is absolutely in perfect condition. You've got the Lulu Lemon logo at the back and this was $11, really beautiful color. Then I bought this funny hat for my daughter who's gonna model it for you right there <laughs> for Halloween. Show the hair, Wee! And this hat was in their Halloween section, yeah. filmy. It was $3, so that was awesome. And then we have this little ugly duckling book for one and a half dollars. Well, the wild duck. And then we have these Lulu lemon trousers. They are in perfect condition and they were $10, $9.50. And then we have, let's see what else we have. We have some more Lululemon leggings. These were $25, again, in really, really good condition. Then we have some Adidas Stella McCartney leggings in really good condition. It's so cold. And then let's see what else I got. I got these at the very last minute. You see, I went through the sports reel section and on my way back, I just had a little browser and I saw them again. So this stuff being put out constantly. So these are Lululemon wide leg and they were $17. I thought that's awesome. Again, everything in perfect condition. Then this is a Nike sweater and this was $18 and it's got this really nice detail right on there. It's like that. And then what else did I buy? I bought a J Crew sweater in yellow for twelve and a half dollars Again, in like really, really amazing condition. And then I have finally Mr. Beast because who doesn't love Mr. Beast hoodie? I thought I decided to buy some of his merch. I didn't want to buy it at full price. I was like, wow, I saw Mr. Beast hoodie, so I'm going to get it. And that's it. That's all I bought. Of course, I did buy a lot more stuff during my holiday when I've been here, but it's absolutely awesome finding all this stuff. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I do have a video on my channel about going to an English car boot sale, which is like a huge flea market. So you can check that out. Don't forget to like, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.